An upcoming report, CSD zooms in on the anti-democratic challenge through a comparative focus on the main Russia-sponsored disinformation messages and the corresponding ability to tackle authoritarian state-driven disinformation in four European countries – Bulgaria, Poland, the Czech Republic and Germany. We evaluate the disinformation response capacities of these countries on three main levels – government, civil society and international institutions, and we further detail key resilience assets and liabilities. We look at disinformation narratives in four types of media – Russia-owned, pro-Russian locally owned, mainstream local and local political outlets. On balance, who copes best with this information? Since this comparative focus on Bulgaria, Poland, the Czech Republic and Germany reveals best practices and gaps in dealing with this information on three main levels – governance framework, civil society and uptake or contribution to common EU policy. In Bulgaria, in the face of relative political inaction and lack of initiative or significant debate of EU-level anti-disinformation initiatives, civil society has played pivotal role in charting out responses to disinformation. The country's political mainstream has mostly tried to avoid dealing with Russian disinformation and has supported Russia's economic projects in the country en masse. the political and media polarization in Poland, as well as increasing governmental control over public outlets, means that it is again up to the civil society to devise and advocate for actions to tackle disinformation. Poland's fallout with Brussels has made the country vulnerable to Russian disinformation, despite Poles' historical vigil against the Kremlin. In the Czech Republic, there is political acknowledgement of the threat posed by the Russian disinformation expressed, for instance, in the creation of the Best Practice Center Against Terrorism and Hybrid Threats within the Ministry of the Interior. Yet, these good practice institutional responses are set back by the experience of very high-level political support for Russia, as well as non-transparent but formidable business ties. In Germany, the state occupies a preeminent place in the fight against disinformation. For example, the Network Enforcement Act was the first law of its kind in Europe, detailing regulatory measures for tackling unlawful content disseminated on the largest social media platforms. Germany, with its public broadcast model and regulation, could form the basis for a stronger EU-wide response to disinformation, including the regulation of the monopoly power of social media. Overall, pro-Kremlin anti-democratic ultra-conservative messaging is pervasive in a range of European countries. Responses to disinformation are still not comprehensive enough, partly because of the confluence of factors such as deep socio-economic changes, social media consumption challenges and local political challenges. Hence, greater coordination and collaboration among various political, international, media and technological stakeholders are necessary.